All right, we're ready. No, no, no. We're back here. The wind, you guys. Is this necessary? No change. Oh. Awful. No, that is not cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. Yeah, I need someone. Up. The babes just got uh, just got word that I was requested to perform by my fans at Wango Tango, and I'm in. So I don't know why I went lowercase for Justin and big voice for Bieber. <laughs> 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 Guys, this guy's name is Justin Bieber. <laughs> Justin Bieber. It is JoJo on the radio backstage at Wango Tango. What are you saying? Don't be nervous, JoJo. Don't be nervous, man. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Bieber's sitting right in front of me. No, man. By the There's way, uh, to be nervous. <laughs> yeah. It's JoJo on the radio in the studio with uh, my bud, me. who I'm proud of him, Justin Bieber, <laughs> y'all. Yes. Thank you. Backstage, sold out Kiss FM Jingle Balls, and uh, I guess the main reason. The main reason this place is sold out is because of you, sir. Oh, man. Bieber! I appreciate that. Hashtag Wango Tango all day. We're trending worldwide. Yeah. One of the reasons this dude, I haven't seen you in a minute, Mr. Justin Bieber. It's been a second, and as we assessed before, as we were walking in, it's no longer even a close call. It's official. Justin ah. Bieber is officially taller than JoJo. Remember the days I used to do these height battles with Justin, and I would... <laughs> I would win. I was I was winning for like the first maybe year or two. Yeah, year or two. That was and, it. And the, aside from that, you good? I'm great, man. Good to see you. Good to see I, you. I'm dude. taller than you, officially. You, yeah, you are taller than me. Yes. Thanks for pointing that out. Of course. Uh, I, but next time I see you, you'll be six foot five. No. It's just sickening, dude. <laughs> Man, we're having a good time here. Today. We're good. You know he, what? He came in with a confident smell because he walked in taller than you, JoJo. I came in and <laughs> I just saw you, and I was like, man, this is my chance. And I stood next to you, and I was like, man, I'm really a lot taller than I you. I regret now. doing this height battle. Yeah, because at the beginning, he was like, I'm taller than you. We did a height battle. I was like 13. <laughs> That's and then, right. <laughs> now you're like six foot three. No, I'm when not six foot three. There was, a, there was a moment where I had a, like, are oh, you wearing tall shoes kind of a thing? And yeah, now it's just forget it. You know, I, I just, over. how tall are you now? I don't know, probably like five, nine, five, ten. God almighty, man. How you been? Good, good. A few moments ago, that, I'll say it right now, that is the greatest intro to any Wango Tango we have ever had. Oh, thank you, thank you. I mean, I was just, they told me that I had to walk to the stage. I was like, okay, I don't know how this is going to work. And I tried to walk to, to the stage and like the fan just like went crazy. It was, it was awesome. It was nuts. Uh, last time you uh, did our show, I think it was uh, a Wango Tango, uh -huh. uh, we had this crazy idea that you were going to run from the back of the stadium. You know, through the crowd, and I reach out it's a for stadium you. Stadium, uh, wherever it was, Home Depot, and I think it was. You run up through the crowd, and I reach down and grab you and pulled you onto the stage. And oh, yeah. and, I, and as I'm reaching down, I grabbed your hand because there was a st the stairs and the stage, maybe yeah. like a foot little gap there. I'm thinking if he doesn't see that, and he's flying up here. He's gonna he's gonna die. die. Yeah, but I saw it. And I I have like I don't want to call them nightmares, but I keep second guessing that moment because, dude, one slip. If you'd have taken like five more seconds. It Beaver, would have no more Bieber. No, no, it would have been definitely a disaster. You would have been just. It's Eating gone. I was like literally, like millimeters away from getting like killed. Yeah. So how are we uh, making the entrance onto the stage today? Tonight, uh, well. Wrap and put them in a box. <laughs> and have yeah. someone unwrap some, you on stage. Someone, yeah, that would be tight. Put it in the middle of the audience idea. and see if anybody notices. You can, we can do that. If you guys want to make a box by the time I go on stage, That's I'll, true, we can do that. Like, I'll go in the box. People, this is this is your. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is this your first time back on? A stage by yourself since since when or what? what? Um, well, I came out and performed with Ariana Grande on her tour. And right. I, yeah. In Miami, I performed at Ultra. So other than that, who's I've calling? Been pretty, who's calling? Floyd. See, it's probably, see who's I think, calling? I think fans got my number actually. Oh really? Really? Yeah, it's a random number. You want to answer it? Let's it's, it. it's a fan. <laughs> oh, it just ended. Ah, what a thing! But one of these are them. One of these <laughs> got to be a fan. Let's call a fan right now. My man calls in mob scenes worldwide. What yes. the hell? That was crazy. We just uh, we did this uh, NBC special showing all the madness overseas, and there was a lot of a lot of people. We were in Norway, had a boat chase, felt like 007, uh, more like 009 and a half, though. <laughs> but uh, it was a real boat chase. Real boat chase. Like nothing set up for promo. No, 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 no. It was real. We were coming off. We had to do an escort. Uh, with the boat because we, it was, we were performing on the water. So after we got escorted, we had like a police boat behind us and then all of a sudden, a bunch of fan boats, literally hundreds of fan boats followed behind us and then we were trying to have the police stop them but they were going around the police and not caring and like <laughs> crazy. crashing into other boats. It was super dangerous. We had teenagers driving without life jackets. Let's get your number. We're calling a fan. Hang By on. the way, I'm changing it. 
Anyways. How do you call Justin and not answer the phone? I you think, call I don't know. Uh, yeah, psycho fan encounters. You have a lot of crazy fans, but is there one that stands out like, dude, uh, this yeah, one well, went over uh, the top? Still, from the, from the day from day one, it was it was a long time ago. It was probably the fourth, fifth radio station I've ever been to. I think it was in Seattle. Um, um, I was actually in, or was I, Seattle. And it was like six in the morning. And, and basically, I was there, and I didn't have security at that point. It, I was just starting out, like I didn't. And so I, I walked, walked into this radio building, and, and I walk in, and all of a sudden, a girl spots me from the other side of the radio station. This girl just saw me, and she freaked out. Is that Justin? <laughs> Justin Bieber. And she ran, and like I don't know, nerd, like some something must have hit her, and she like she just runs full tilt at me, right, like this. Right, at right, me, right. Arms out, and she tackles me, and I'm. Li <laughs> this was me at. You remember me? I was small, like I was like this. I was literally down here. I was three feet tall, and and <laughs> this girl is like tall. Like she was probably like I think she was nine feet tall at the time, and she literally comes at me and tackles me <laughs> with a hug. She means to hug me, but I fall to the ground. Did you get hurt? I wasn't hurt, but it really wasn't a good wake up. So did she like tackle you and hump you? Is that what happened? No. Oh, okay. It wasn't what happened, but she like got up and realized like yeah, she shouldn't have did that. And, like, she went over the line just a tad. Just a little bit. And I'm like now on the ground, and like Ryan, who was down, was just like, uh, he was kind of like my road manager. He like had to be like, yo, chill out, chill out, chill out. What are you doing? Like, you could have just asked for a picture or something like that. That's a normal thing to do. I mean, I, I was expecting a hello, good morning, not a tackle. So if you're listening and you want Justin, do not tackle him. He's not turned Please on by no. that. If you could have any accent in the world other than your own, what would that be? Uh, I would probably have a uh, probably country accent because they're just so cool. Don't you just love country accents? You just sit so laid back and just you don't care about anything. You just kind of you know just have an accent. I'm gonna have to confiscate this. I'm originally from Texas, and I know what you mean there, Justin. You know baby. exactly what I mean, right? Yes, sir, Beaver. Go down to the uh, stable, baby. Get out the horses. <laughs> Riding on them a little bit. Ride on. I seen a ghost one time. I think. I think. All right, I'm into this stuff now, so don't yeah. lie to me. There's like a pic there's a picture of like a ghost behind. Like there's like a, a, a wall, a blank wall. There was no way there was anyone behind me, and there was no shadow. So and then there's like just something like this behind me. And in the picture, it's like a and it's like super creepy. And so when I look at the picture and then you zoom in, it's got a face and everything. It's creepy. All right, uh, you been you ever been mistaken for the wrong celeb, Justin Bieber? Never. No. I can't imagine not. What'd you get for your mom for a Mother's Day? Um, I can't really say it right now because, or else she, I'm gonna give it away. She could, you know. <laughs> Is it? It's it's. It's good. It's really good. Can she drive it and put keys in it? She can't. All right. The favorite thing to get when you're at Tim Hortons in Canada. I don't even know what that means. Tim, you've never been to Tim Hortons? No. What it it's was. a coffee. It's like a coffee shop. I've never been to Canada. Like donuts. Be. Ow, Jesus! You should go. Okay, right there. Tim Hortons. The crack house. I'm about to get some donuts. Grab some some ice caps. Which is crack. The objects we're shooting today are a Tim Hortons iced cappuccino, Justin's okay. favorite drink. Tim Hortons is a Canadian coffee company, yeah. which I you, thoroughly enjoy. Yes, you love them. Uh, they have like bagels and cream cheese that are so good. Like, they toast them and they taste amazing. What city then, should I like, go to uh, in, in Canada? They, they have them any city. But you should go to either Vancouver or Toronto. Um, yeah, those are the two best places. Can I say I know Justin Bieber when I... Can you say it where? Can I, can I say I know Justin Bieber when yeah, uh, you can. go to Canada? Yeah, and you'll get the best treatment. Okay, there you go. Uh, working with Drake and Big Show. Worst. Kanye, I mean, who are you Yeah, I'm working with? with Kanye, Skrillex, a lot of awesome people. Um, and we're just wrapping it up now, so it's in the final touch stage. Love it. And what's the target date for release on it? Um, target date... 
I don't think there's a specific date, but soon, soon. This year. I Is hate it? to keep saying soon, to keep saying soon, but it's soon. Justin, man, I, we, well, I saw you a couple of days ago at uh, Wango Tango. Yep. But a lot's changed since then. A lot has it's changed. That that this thing called Believe. Believe. Uh, my album. Is yeah. Out of stores. That's out on iTunes. It's out everywhere. So. Beauty and the Beat featured my girl Nikki. When you heard that rap she came up with, that crazy rhyme, be- she rhymed Bieber, Wiener, and Selena. Yeah. What, what were, you, were you thinking? Like, what the hell, Nikki? I mean, it's Nikki doing her thing. Yeah, but- she killed it. No, she's she's cool. I mean, I like her energy, and uh, she always puts a, a cool spin on songs. So it's, it's but cool. you didn't go to her and say, look, I want you to rhyme no, Bieber, never, Wiener, never, and Selena. No, I never. Five minutes and eight seconds. What's up? That wasn't Skrillex. Oh, who was it then? That was his brother. <laughs> so, uh, Edward. I swear. Do you have a twin? Is it Billix? Twins, What's his name? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Justin, we got this track. You may have heard of it. Mm-hmm. Skrillex and Diplo. Where are you now? Give me some details on the track. Something I don't know. Something you don't know. Well, uh, the song was actually just me and a piano. And then Skrillex came in and did his stuff. Him and Diplo came in and messed up the beat. So, it was... um. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. It was fun working with those guys. I should turn. When the door wasn't open, just admit it. See, I gave you faith, turned you down, and I hope it came tonight. There you go. Let's just go to your head. You're the best I've ever had. Not to mention the thing is swollen. I keep forgetting. I want you wrap around my arm like a wristwatch. Pulling out. You realize you said that, right? You realize you said that on stage, right? In front of like a million people. It was great. It was beautiful. No one caught it but us. Hi. Let's go to your house. Let's go to your house. Kind of like the direction that you want this album to go. Um, I don't know. It's hard. Yeah, <laughs> up. I, I don't know. There's not really a direction. Okay. It's really just uplifting, and people are gonna smile while listening to it. Um, no, I think there's a lot of personal songs on there. A lot of songs that I feel like I'm expressing myself through this album, and I haven't been able to really talk a lot and say my side of just the stuff that's been going on in the media and whatever. And I always see like six different conflicting stories. Does that just get like so tiring sometimes? And at this point, I don't really read anything. Good. I was gonna say, what was the what's the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen about yourself? I don't know. I think I'm dead right now. Yeah. <laughs> Probably like on Twitter all the time. Yeah. You've been through you know some ups and downs. Yeah. Is it funneled into the tracks? Yes. I'm speaking. I'm using my voice to in my music rather than out here in the world because people often just take my words and twist them and stuff so I'm not really talking a lot and just using my music for that I love on it that too. note did the roast change you like um i don't know about change me but it was definitely a cool experience God, I was with Ludacris the night of the playback, and his Twitter was blowing up with you calling him Mr. Potato Head or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah, just yeah. howling. So We've all gone through adolescence, and we have kids that are going through it. So I say cut him a little slack, and I, I do want to see him you know, do better, and I want to see him uh, just make up for some of the things, and I think he's really on that path. So, you know, we got to root him on. <laughs> okay, well, then I got a question. Are, are you going to cut him some slack? Because didn't he call you Mr. Potato Head at yeah, the road? Yeah, he did. <laughs> So, so what's, what's up with that? What's up with that? What's up? And then a new beast? 
this? What's happening? What's no, up with that? This is the thing. We all had really good jokes for each other, and it's, yeah. it's great to be able to laugh at yourself, and that was the thing. I, I see y'all doing that. Watch out. <laughs> yourself and you you can't laugh at other people so you tell me that's gonna be my new album cover you put it up there one more time this is gonna be the new album cover right here <laughs> absolutely yeah merchandise now i'm about to make millions off merchandise yeah. Use it to your advantage. Well, congrats on everything, Thank you. man. Congrats on everything. I knew it was coming, but it's good to see all the stuff Thank that you've been working hard on. And... Yeah. You're the man. Thanks, dude. You guys Take are both it easy. The man. He's got some coral, coral colored shoes on. Coral shoes. They're not red. They're not orange. They're coral. <laughs> so, uh, Strangest thing you've uh, ever autographed, Justin Bieber? Strangest thing, uh, like, I've signed, like, probably just, like, cereal box. That was pretty weird. Okay, I guess they could keep that on top of their fridge or something, you know. You have almost double the followers of Canada. Your Twitter has more people population. on it than the population of Canada. That's crazy. How nuts is that, dude? Bananas. Do you second guess when you tweet? Or do you just tweet? Uh, yeah, I, I second guess. Because a lot of, of the, in my Instagram pictures, yeah. I second guess. Sometimes I'll post it and then delete it because I second guess. And then I'll repost <laughs> it because it'll be like, why did you delete it? Oh, All right, man. Well, that is, of course, Bieber. Backstage, Wayne Go Tank. I would say follow him on Twitter. Yeah, you are. But you are young. Oh, yeah. He's got more followers. Follow me anyway. <laughs> follow Bieber, thanks for hanging out, man. Thank you, bro. Follow Justin Bieber on Twitter. If you follow have, this yeah. guy on Twitter. What's your Twitter? At JoJo, right? At JoJo. You follow me, right? I do follow you. Yes, of you course do. I do. That's Just, Bieber. Yes. I'm JoJo, and Not he follows cool me. And you follow him. That's right. Or me, jo at Justin Bieber. B I E B E R. He has 20 yeah. gazillion followers. Whatever. We're just excited to see you perform. I'm ready. Can I it was say kind of a tease at the Ariana Grande concert because I wanted more. I'm sorry. Well, you'll get a couple more songs tonight. Perfect. He's perfect. about to give it to you, sis, right now. <laughs> okay, let's do it. You had something else to say, though, Justin? I was going to say um, 102.7 KISS FM. <laughs> well, that's very nice. All right, got that Nailed cleared it. up. In case you didn't know. <laughs> all right, uh, hashtag Wango Tango. Uh, hit it up all day uh, backstage with the man Bieber. Good to see you, dude. Yeah, 102.7 KISS FM. Backstage. I had Bieber. a lot of fun. Yes, he did. Yeah. Kiss FM, baby. Uh, Bieber's album, of course, like he said, coming out hopefully this year. Yes. Uh, official date. We'll know soon enough. Yes. Where are you now? If you haven't downloaded it yet, Go do get it. it. Are you a bad, horrible person? No, you're not horrible. Yes, you are. Bad. But you probably just don't have good taste in music. <laughs> there it is. There it is. All right, back in a sec, you guys. Live from Wango Tango. That is Justin Bieber. I got to do something. One thing real quick. Oh. You guys, it's JoJo on the radio with Justin Bieber. Do 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 do. There you go. Get your get his album. Get that album. Get his. Justin album. hasn't been on stage headlining for two years, and he still isn't headlining because that honor went to Kanye, who closed the show. But still, he was amazing. He's back, and he's not alone. You're not gonna guess who was there on the sidelines watching him. Haley Baldwin. <laughs> who has been his rumored <laughs> girlfriend for a long time. She was totally living it up on the side of the stage, dancing to all of his songs. Dancing, looking totally uninterested, tomato, tomato. So, congrats on the comeback, Justin. You're the best opening act Kanye's ever had.